Yep. Let's go. Just like that. That was a sick eat. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude. Yep, that's him. That's a monster. That's him. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, it is time to get this video started, baby. Oh man, we got a special one for y'all today. As you guys can tell, I got some braid on my kicking combo. And I think you guys know what that means. We are top water fishing today for some of these pond monsters. We're gonna be pond hopping to as many places as we can with top water and see if we can get it done today. We have not top water fished all year. We haven't started top water fishing yet. So this is our first sneak peek into the top water scene of 2024, baby. We got this box right here that's loaded with a bunch of different top waters. And let's go ahead and open this puppy up and see what we got. So we have a wide variety of a bunch of different top waters. We also have some mock shads in here, some swim baits, if we wanted to get a little spicy, but honestly guys, we're gonna try to stick to just top water today. So up top here, we got some of the Patroller 90s. This is the original Patroller that we usually throw right here. But we recently just came out with a Patroller 110. And this is a bigger version. So we can get into some of the bigger baits today if we would like. We also have some of the spraying shads. These are actually the spraying shad 70s. We also have some of the smaller ones here that we've thrown in the past. So out of all these top waters in this box, I wanna keep it simple and basic to start off, guys. I don't know what to expect. We haven't thrown top water all year. I'm curious to see how these fish are gonna react. And we're gonna start off with the Patroller 90 which is a plopper style bait. And this is in the regular pearl white color. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We're gonna be throwing this puppy on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose bait caster. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com, baby. Let me link down below. It is springtime and the fishing's getting hot, boys. So go cop yourself a combo. And send me some pictures of big fish that you catch on it now. But let's go ahead and tie up this patroller right here and get to casting. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, we got a little bit of cloud cover today. The sun keeps peeking through and then the clouds are going over the sun. Usually on a sunny day, I'm gonna throw a chrome top water. But with today kind of being in the middle, it's, it's kind of going away, coming back, coming away, going back. I think our best bet is this pearl color here. And we are good to go. So our plan is to cover as much water as we can. If this pond's not happening, we'll just move on to the next one and see if we can get some of these big bass to blow up on top water. So in all the recent videos, we've been bed fishing for the most part. I mean, that is pretty much all we've been doing recently. The bite's been so good with the bed fishing that I just haven't thought to throw a top water. Ooh, 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 bro. Huge boil off that grass right there. Dude, no way. So I threw right in front of that patch and there was a big swirl right here. Right up on the bank. And that fish didn't have enough time to commit to it. Dude, one just blew up down here, bro. Hold on, boys. We got to get over here. This all blow up right up on this bank. We're gonna cross this bridge here. Make a good cast on this corner. Dude, I am so pumped to get one of these big blow ups, man. That was a horrible cast. Get a better one in this corner. There we go. Just like that. Oh my gosh, he ain't big, but that was so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our first official top water blow up of the year. And it did not disappoint, baby. So these are the fish y'all need to be careful with. And this is why I grabbed my pliers before I walked to this side of the bridge. Oh my gosh, what a small fish with a fat belly that just destroyed that top water, man. We've only been fishing for five minutes. We saw a fish blow up in this corner. That's why it's great to pay attention to our surroundings. And threw right in there and she hammered it, man. Let's go, baby. One thing that we need to do is tighten her drag a little bit. I did not have my drag set up. This is actually a brand new combo I just got. But that is our first topwater fish. We're gonna throw back in there just to do it. So one thing that we need to think about today, there's a couple different ways that we can work this patroller. So 
This is a very simple top order to throw. I mean, you just throw it out there and you can just simply reel it in as so, just like that, steady retrieve, nothing crazy. Every once in a while you can give it some pops just to give it some sporadic movement. Or we could throw it out there and kind of just pop it and let it sit. Rip it, let it sit. Rip it again, let it sit. And that can be another great way of catching fish on this patroller. And that fish right there in particular, I threw right up in this corner just like that. I ripped it one time and she just blew up on it. So that's something that, you know, I don't want to judge how they're going to eat today based on one bite. But that's something for us to keep in mind is to switch up our retrieves and figure out how these fish are going to eat this thing today. Dude, what is that? That's got to be a big carp. Oh, yeah, that's 100% a carp. So imagine the carp just blows up on it. All right, well, we went around that whole island, didn't have another bite, so we're going to start working back towards this grass that we fished at the beginning and we had that fish swirl on us. Oh, that was a good one. I saw her open her mouth, dude. Oh. Dude, she opened her mouth and we laid eyes on each other, dude. Straight up, just looked at each other like, whoa. <laughs> He was like, that's a freaking human, bro. I ain't eating that. He almost couldn't resist until he laid eyes on me. Well, that's a dang fisherman, man. I need to calm down. I need to turn away from this puppy. That would have 100% been a catch if I wasn't standing above the bait there. I mean, we looked right at each other. I'm just glad to see some of these fish coming up for the top water. That's exciting. I mean, we've been fishing for 20 minutes. We caught a fish, we had one swirl on us right off the rip, and then we just had another one try to eat it. It's a good sign. You know, that first bite that we missed by the grass, or he wasn't even biting it, but he swirled on it. I'm not even upset about that one, but that one that just opened his dang mouth, that's kind of upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. There's gotta be more than one over there. Right when I popped it, dude. I don't know if I scared that fish. Oh my goodness, man. Right when I popped it, that fish was actually behind the bait. It looked like it kind of kind of scared him. And he came off. <laughs> Come on. That sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I saw a boil behind the bait and I actually stopped it, which usually I don't. Hold on, what's going on? Is that a bass? What? What is that? It might be a gar, dude. I didn't even know there was gar in here, but the way he tailed up behind that bait and the way he's eating it. The first one that ate me, I thought it was a was a bass. And there's a boil right there. I don't know if you guys can see the dust it just stirred up. The first one was definitely a bass. That second one looked like a dang gar. <sighs> yeah, look, look. Look at what, 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 what is it, dude? What is that, bro? It's moving really fast, so I want to say it's a bass just playing with it. Look at him behind it. Oh my gosh, it's huge, dude. All right, we need to come back and throw at that. I don't know what it is, but that fish is big. With the boils, it kind of looked like a bass, but I'm not sure. It's pretty crazy. There we go. Let's go, baby. Right in the middle there. And she came off. Jeez, they're just kissing it, dude. That fish didn't even eat it, eat it too well. I don't know if you guys noticed what I did there. One, I threw off the bank out there in the middle. I'm not seeing too many fish up shallow. I was just reeling that thing in, giving it some aggressive pops, and she came up and ate it. Wow. That was a sick eat. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a good one. Oh, let's go, dude. No way that that's the same fish. Oh, that's 100% a different fish. Let's go, man. Good two pounder. Heck yeah. 
y'all are gonna make me want to just film top water videos every single day because this th there is nothing more exciting than a good old top water bite and i'll take a two pounder all day on the top water thank you buddy have not found the pond monsters yet boys but uh that's a good fish man beautiful thank you baby thank you wow that looks about the same size as the one that came off a second ago but i just it doesn't make sense for him to eat it again maybe he just uh hasn't seen a top water in a year and he was just fiending for it dude all right boys well we've had a lot of bites so far we haven't even fished this whole pond we have a ton of different ponds to fish today and we've had a lot of bites and i'm feeling really good about it and this bank down here i feel like we can get a couple bites as well and i think i also figured out how to work this bait we need to throw it out there steady retrieve just like this boom give it a rip steady retrieve boom give it a rip and i think me popping that bait and ripping it like that is just creating a reaction bite we're gonna throw out here in the middle as well because i want to say i called that first fish in from out deep oh yeah we're gonna get slammed on this bank feel it Dude, oh my gosh, let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Look at that brute, man. Not a big one, but she is fat. Ooh, he got something spiky. He just stuck the heck out of me. Let's get our pliers out for this one. The patroller is putting in some work, guys, at the mouth of this pocket. They might be stacked out there in the middle. So I want to show you guys something on this bass. I went to grab that thing. See that sharp little needle looking thing? It's sharp as can be too, man. I don't know if that's just like a piece of his bone somehow is growing out of his mouth. That about got me in my finger, man. That was a good one. A beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the bite. We've had probably six or seven bites and landed three fish. And I feel like we're about to go on a roll, man. That's two times in a row though. I threw out here in the middle. And you know, we gotta note, we haven't really seen many fish on the bank, but I threw right out here in the middle, just reeling it in and popping it. And those fish get it to where they can pin it up on this little flat shelf and they're eating it right at the bank. And I'm not saying there's no fish up shallow because we're definitely gonna catch some on, on these grass patches. I mean, that's just a given. But there's also gonna be a good bit of fish that are just set up off the bank. So we need to do a wide variety of today. You know, throw up on the bank some, throw these good parallel casts, throw off the bank as well, and then kind of hone in on what's working. Oh, no way, dude. Come here, baby. Let's go. Dude, I threw such a bad cast. I was about to hit that grass, so I popped it real hard. And dude, that just triggered this fish to smoke it. And I cannot remember that we've had a, the last time that we've had a topwater bite this good. I thought today was gonna be super tough and hard to buy these bites. But since we started moving in this pocket, dude, we are putting in some work, baby. And another beautiful pound and a half fish. We haven't caught any of these pond monsters yet. We haven't got any of the monster bass, but I'll tell you, these one and a half, two pound fish have been a lot of fun, man. We're gonna find these big ones sooner or later. Thank you, baby. Wow, what a bite right on the edge of that grass. We were just talking about it too. I gotta throw another cast out there, guys. <laughs> Like my, my bait was about to go in that grass, so I popped it heavy. I thought I landed a little too rough, but that made that fish go crazy on the bait, dude. All right, boys and girls, this pocket has produced wonders for us with the dang top water. But we're gonna keep on moving. I wanna go on the other side of this pond and there's another pocket back there and it could be really good. And that's usually where I have more of the big bites. So let's go ahead and walk over there. Oh yeah, that's a nice one guys. Let's go baby, finally, let's go. I was just walking down this bank, 
dude he's only two pounds man but he had a crazy eat there come here let's go man two and a half pounder barely had this thing so i know i was talking about going in that other pocket but i was like i'm gonna walk over there but i can walk and cast and that is our fattest one of the day man good two to two and a half pounder thought she was almost three the way she was dang pulling there beautiful fish though thank you baby heck yeah and with us hitting a bunch of ponds today you know this whole walking and casting i mean this is what we're going to be doing man as much water as we can cover if they don't want to eat the top water that's fine man we'll find another fish that will guys i've caught more fish today on top water than when i came out here the last time with a texas rig that's insane i have spooked two fish off the bank here there might still be some on bed over here it's probably what this is you can see these beds there ain't many that are pushed up but there's definitely still some here and there Let's see if they'll get mad and blow up on this thing look at that boil up there guys big boil oh chase it chase it chase it oh no I thought we were about to see a massive one blow up right by that dang water. That little dam right there. Dang. All right, let's move on down to this far pocket that we were talking about. We can find some really good ones over here. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I want a big one. I want a large one. Come on. I'm ready to see big juicy man. Let's go crazy. Hit it all the way out of the water. Dude, that was a good one and I hooked set to the right because I felt awkward. We can get her to bite again man, maybe. <laughs> that was actually our best one today, dude. That's where all those big fish have been bedding. They bed up on that dang grass right there. Happened to miss her. One, I don't think she ate it all the way. And two, I think I just, I was holding it kind of like this, like more this way. And I just try to hook set across. When in reality, I probably should just lean this way, but it's just kind of awkward. That's unfortunate. All right, guys. Well, this corner did not produce like we thought it would. I really thought I was going to get one or two bites, and we happened to. I mean, we got that bite on that, which would have been our biggest fish today so far. Then I had another bite out here. I didn't even get to see it. But with that being said, we're going to keep on moving, guys. We're going to go to some other ponds and see if we can continue the topwater trend and catching a bunch of fish, and more importantly, hook into a monster. All right, ladies and gents, new pond, new me, baby. We haven't been to this place in a while. And if you guys can tell, I mean, there's so much dang grass. It is uncastable right here. We're going to have to go towards the main part of the water. This would have been a great spot to throw a frog in, though. And I don't have a frog with me today. And I'm kind of saving that because I want to make a specific frog video. And that's that's exciting, man. I'm just glad they're eating top water because we're going to come out and do a frog video sometime. We might have to go get us a frog and come back out here. I ain't going to lie. It's looking crazy. I don't ever remember there being that much grass in here. It's kind of crazy, but let's see uh see if they'll eat this patroller on top of the Okay. Okay. Yeah, they'll eat the patroller on top of the grass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our smallest fish of the day, but that was quick. Literally first cast in there guys. And we already got us another patroller bass. And look how dark he is. You can tell he's been living up in that grass. Not a big one, but cool bite, Dan. I mean, look at all that grass, guys. It's like I really only have the middle section to fish. I mean, as long as I can get him to bite like that, I'm cool with it. There's just so much. Oh my gosh. No way. I'm trying to get him out of the grass. Another little tiny one. All right. That is insane. And I know these fish are tiny guys, but don't let that fool you. There's some really good ones in here. The last two times I came out, I caught a fish each time over four pounds. So maybe these small ones are just getting a little antsy, man. 
hooked him in the side of the body somehow. Well, not what we're looking for, but that's fun. Two casts, two fish, that's unreal. And I had a question to myself. I was like, I don't know if they're gonna continue to eat top water in these other ponds, but I think that uh, answers our question pretty fast. You know, these fish in here might be biting extra good too with all that grass, because if they just see something going above in that open water, they're just instantly biting it. So hopefully we don't uh, have a small fest here and some of these big ones can chase this bait down. The small ones are aggressive out there. All right, guys, we have this whole open water we can fish. We'll make a couple casts here and there, but I really want to get back in this corner. And there's a lot of wind on this pond right now, too. It doesn't look like there's a bunch of grass. I can beam this thing, dude. I'm hitting the other side of the pond. It doesn't look like there's much grass over there, just mainly on this side of the pond. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had to have been another small one. Totally missed it. I wish this grass edge didn't go so far out because I feel like I could fish the edge of it. I mean, I can try. I feel like that's where some of those big ones would be sitting. Right on the edge of that grass. Oh. Oh, that's a better one. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot better than those first two. Come here, baby. Let me skirt you all the way on in here. Really skinny, though. About twice the size of those tiny ones. But he is still not big himself. Just a long, skinny bass. These fish are out here and they're eating this top water, though. You gotta love it. Blessed to be out here on a beautiful day catching some top water bass. Still hunting for those monsters. But we're not gonna give up, guys. We're gonna keep on pushing. Thank you, baby. There she goes. I would have never thought to be skyrocketing freaking top waters across this pond here but with the grass over here it's just kind of the move right now man dude oh yeah that's another decent one come here <laughs> i mean these fish are not big at all but they're crushing this thing he barely got hooked look at how he's been eating it dude that's why i missed him the first time or missed a different one barely had it they are crushing that thing though <laughs> that is so much fun i was expecting to get out here today and get like five bites all day i was not expecting it to just be non-stop dude we only had two ponds and we were just smoking them this pond more importantly i mean this thing's just we're hitting it almost every cast out there this pond never fishes like that too which is just mind-blowing to me they just really want top water. They're, they're as excited as I am about it. All right, we're getting in this corner now. Oh, yeah. Definitely a good one. But I haven't put, oh, dude. Yeah, that's a better one. Look at that. He ain't even fighting. He is not even fighting. We're just gonna tote him right in. Oh, look at how fat that puppy. Oh, there she goes. I'll just let her go. Wow, I didn't even see that bite. You got all this wind here. I just kind of let, you know, put the pressure on her. This corner should be good. That's where I was thinking we were going to get a big bite. Just gotta keep on casting right here. I feel like we might be able to catch a nice one. You got all this wind pushing in this pocket too. I mean, there's gotta be a monster up in this corner with this wind. It's just pushing all the bait fish in the back of this corner. Right? Yep, that's him. That's a monster. That's him. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's go, son. Oh my gosh. We were speaking it into existence. And we got our biggest fish of the day, about a three and a half pounder. And he was right up in that dang corner, dude. I had a weird feeling just with this wind pushing back up here that that's where the big ones would be and first cast she destroyed it man and there could be some more in there let's throw it back in this corner but there we go finally got a nice fish today dude we've had a lot of awesome bites but finally a good big fish let's go let's keep it going i'm telling you we don't want to settle on a three and a half today but that's a start i actually bent my patroller trying to get her out of that grass just bend it. You can bend it right back just like that. 
I was torquing down on her like a dang frog, dude, because I didn't want her to get up in that slop and then might not be able to catch her. That was right down the pipe, dude. Right down the heart of that cut. You still have all this grass, as you guys can tell on the edge here. She was right there in that deep spot, right there. Dude, look at that. They're loaded. Look at how dark this fish is. He's been living up in that grass. This ain't a big one. Really skinny bass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at how dark that fish is. That's how you know they've been living up in all that vegetation. You got her under the under the chin. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Same cast, man. Yeah, these fish are going to be in this corner, guys. I'm pumped to throw another cast. Let's see what we got. Come on. Come on. Dude, that is such a... Oh, dude, look. That's three casts in there, dude. She ate it right on the edge of the grass. They are loaded, man. And they are smoking this top water. They will not stop. This has just been a theme all day, man. This is even crazier, though. That first pond, they were biting good. Now we just found them stacked up where they need to be. And they're feeding in this pocket, dude. This is not a big one either. Nothing like that first one, but pretty fish. I was just about to get that bait in and she freaking smoked it. Dude, the back-to-back -back action in this pond has been unreal. That's three casts, three fish. Up at the beginning, we had two casts, two fish. And we are just smooth sailing right now. But guess what? We gotta make a fourth right here. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> right there, dude, come on. All right, it's not gonna be the fourth. That doesn't mean we can't catch another fish over here, though. I just want to see another good one, man. That first one, good three pounder, three and a half. Just right in this little ditch. All the grass on the edge, right in the pocket. Look at that. Dude, this is unreal. This is so sick. See how many fish are loaded in this corner. You talk about a loaded pond, you talk about this one right here, baby. Look at that. Our first day of top water fishing is not disappointing. I just can't believe it just doesn't stop. Like we're just continuing to rake fish. Today was the perfect day for top water, I guess. And they're loving the patroller. All right, guys, well, it's looking like we could stay out here all day and catch fish in this pond, but I kind of want to keep on moving. We caught a ton back here. You know, we predicted that we're going to catch a big one in this cove and it happened. And uh, we're just gonna keep on rolling, guys. We're just catching a lot of small ones in here. I wanna keep on moving until we find this really big bass. Here we go, pond number three. This pond's usually really clear, but it looks a little stained right now. So I don't know what to expect. I don't usually get a ton of bites out of here, but when I do, they're usually pretty good. So hopefully we can continue that right now. We could have kept fishing that last pond we were at, but you know, we we're just catching a lot of small ones. We caught that the biggest fish of the day in there, which was sick. But I want to keep on traveling because I just feel like we can hit a pond today that the big ones are just biting, man. And uh, that's what we're going to attempt to do right now. Cover some water in this pond. See if we can get a giant to eat. I've seen a couple of really good boils up on the bank, too. That's something we need to pay attention to. Uh, got me in the grass, dude, and there's a boil right there. <laughs> That was the worst thing that could happen. Look at him, he's chasing bait. No. That fish might be on bed right there. I just messed it up, dude. Yeah, there might be a bass that was on bed right there. I haven't fished this pond in a while. Yeah, look at how much it's torn up here, stirred up. See all the water? That's where that fish was sitting. See a, some more movement up here. Look at that, look at that right there. Yeah, they might be on bed in this pond. Almost looks like I see a bed out there in the middle, guys. We're about to go over it right now. That looks exactly like a bass bed. And this water's like, it's, it's stained, but it's clear, but it's usually super crystal clear. Maybe this corner is what we've been looking for. Maybe this is where it's gonna go down. That's all that happened in the last pond. We got to the juice corner. We got smokes. What is the timing on that? Oh my gosh. You can't make that up. 
got to the juice corner and got smoked, baby. What just happened, dude? <laughs> that was crazy. The timing on that is unreal, man. We didn't land the fish, but that was honestly a sick bite. I watched him come up and just smoke it right in front of me. Gotta be another one back in here. Come on. We don't want to leave this pond without catching one. That was such a cool eat. Oh, same spot, dude. Little tiny guy. That was a little tiny dude. Well, boys, we're going to keep moving to another pond. I was going to say this pond was not like a total non-success, but honestly, after that bite, dude, and the timing on that, and then finding the bed fish, it's a success, man. Well, let's keep it moving. Let's see if we can find this giant that we've been looking for. All right, I never fished this pond, but we got to try it. It looks too good to not throw in. Got all this wind coming in this back pocket. Same way. Oh, I just got bit by something. Something small just nibbled at me. Put it back in there. And you just got the perfect corner. You got some grass, got some good cover. You got some wind, which looks spicy. Look at that. Not a big one. That is a twinkle, twinkle, tiny one. She's fat, dude. That's a future toad right there. All right, these are the ones you gotta be careful with, guys. I always talk about this with top waters. Some of them just aren't worth putting your dang hand on, okay? I learned that the hard way. All right, you need to calm down, sir. You need to slow down. All right, not a big one, but that is a future giant, man. Fat little guy. Look at how fat that little brood is. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. All right, boys and girls, we are coming up on a new pond we caught a big one here about two weeks back we're gonna try to repeat that whole process again i'm gonna start this off by saying we have had an amazing day top water fishing so far and this is gonna be the last spot that we're gonna hit of the day we're gonna put our all into it it has just been an unreal day the one thing that we're missing is some really big bites and uh all i can say is we haven't gave up all day we're continuing to push and hopefully we can get the monster bite that we're looking for right now. Come on, big fish. It's crazy how some of the spots we've gone to today, they've just bit it so quick and instant. And you go in some of these other spots and just, they fish so different, man. That's the glorious part about fishing though. Everything fishes differently and that's why we always move and go to the new spots just because we're not getting bites left and right that might mean you know the bites that we get to be be a big one that's a <laughs> bro no freaking way that is the funniest thing yeah that means the bites we'll get we'll get a big one let's just pull up a dang six inch here holy cow you know it's possible to catch a fish this small in top water now these are seriously ones you need to be careful with, man. That is the smallest fish we have caught all year. Close to it. That is definitely a top three. I did not expect to catch one that small. All right, we can't give up on that. Let's let's make some more casts on this bank. Oh, uh, my biggest fish in the other video a, a week or so ago. I mean, it, it came in here. Out of all the ponds I hit during the day, this was the one. So come on, Big Bertha. Let's get it, baby. Show me something. I think the other side of the bank is gonna be ridiculous too. There's a bunch of concrete. And when we came here last time, we were smoking some fish over there. Yep. Let's go. Not a big one, but that was sick. Heck yeah, dude. Right on that dang grass. That was one of the coolest bites today. I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I cannot believe we haven't got a bite on any of that grass. Like it just looks so good. And right as I was thinking that, this puppy just came up and smoked it. A little bigger than that, a lot bigger than that last one. Not a big one, but that was sick. Thank you, buddy. Like 
I'm always trying to catch the big ones when we go out. And like today, we only get that one, one fish that was pretty big. And then the other ones, we had some good, like decent two plus pounders. And usually like, I'd be pretty disappointed but today I am not disappointed at all, man. I mean, these top water bites are just too much fun. Whether they're a pound, two pounds, or 10 pounds, it's just a blast. Oh! Oh my gosh! I was envisioning that in my head. That fish came out of the freaking water. He was trying to get that thing so bad. He came out of that pipe, bro. She came slithered right out of that dang pipe. Not a big one, but that was cool. Oh my gosh, dude. I was envisioning that from the last one. He came out of that pipe and smoked this thing, bro. Oh my gosh. What a day of fishing. Thank you, buddy. <laughs>